Welcome to Fire and Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. So today, Virgo, I'm going to do a new kind of reading. I'm going to do a Celtic cross, okay? Uh, just to see what your person's energy is like. How are they feeling about you? Like, what's going on? I feel like I'm tapping into Virgos who you kind of know what the situation is. You could have been dealing with somebody who is already involved. Okay, that's only for some of you. Or you could be dealing with somebody who just constantly leaves you in confusion. You felt like you just had to... I'm seeing like the Nine of Pentacles where you kind of just had to um, take the reins in your own life and say, you know what, fuck this person if we're not going to be together while I'm going through this. I don't know what you're going through right now, Virg, or what decision you're making, but yeah, it's like you're in a hangman energy and I don't feel like you want to wait anymore. Okay, I feel like you, I feel like, Virg, are you waiting for an apology? Do you feel like this person should apologize to you? All right, or your person feels like you should apologize to them? Okay. I'm already, mm, even before I pull cards and I usually don't get like that. So who are you dealing with, Virg? I don't know if I like them. All right, but you love them, all right? So fuck what I like. You love them, all right? Ten of Cups, one eleven on the timer. So this is resonating for somebody. Okay, so Virgo, I'm going to say this. Sometimes when I feel a certain type of way, it's because yeah, it's the energy. Um, and that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if you even feel this person anymore. Like, you, you love them, but just based off the strength that you fell in love, okay? Just like we love our childhood friends, but some of us don't fuck with them anymore, right? Like, uh, some of you guys are looking for new circles of friends. Like, you just want to revamp it all. You tired of everybody in your fucking circle. Like, you're like, I'm just cool with kicking it with just me at this point. I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you, all right? You, you're in a place where you just want your soulmate, right? Because no one's cut for you. All right, not the person you was dealing with. Six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Not the person you was dealing with. You want to reconcile. I feel like you could be wanting to reconcile with someone, Virg. All right, but most of you guys want new. All right, so let's see what this person's energy was that I was picking up. Did I forget a goddamn card? Okay, sorry, Virg. I thought my deck was fucked up. Um, but yeah, let's see what your person's energy is toward you, Virgo. Oh, God. I don't know why I feel like this. I do not know why I feel like this. All right. And I'm going to clarify it with the other uh, tarot. All right. What's crossing this? Cha. All right. So your person. <laughs> Virgo, why am I annoyed? Can you please comment below on why I'm annoyed? Are you annoyed with your person? Like, I'm so fucking pissed off. I'm so annoyed by them right now. And I don't know why. I didn't even. That's really weird. Okay. <clears throat> Let me try to give them a clean slate because I because they might have really good feelings for you. So we're going to see. All right, Virgo. But they, they, they see this as, as something of value. This person could have breadcrumbed you in the past. All right. Or this is something that they now want to give to. All right. I see your person trying a new approach. Try some new shit. Okay. Try pursuing me for once. You might have felt like your person even uprooted the goddamn connection. It's like you guys were working on something at some point and it just stopped. All right, but your person is stressed. Of course, when aren't when isn't when isn't Virgo's person stressed the fuck out about Virgo? All right, let's see. Let, I want to pull. Okay, let's see what is the center of this reading. Wow, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so all right, so you're the center of their world. I'm looking at you as the Queen of Wands. You could have um. Fire in your chart, Virgo. Okay, fire in your Venus. I'm also seeing your moon or your rising. Virgo, so your person... All right, so you know what? Your person has some act right. And I'm only saying that because they very much see what you are and who you are. They see you for you. So don't think that this person doesn't see um, you in your entirety. They do. I don't know if they can handle it, though. Okay, because you're giving queen. They're giving, like, knight and or page. Okay, I could be wrong, Berg, but, you know, queens and knights don't go together. And take the genders as it goes. But, um... They see you as a powerful manifester. They see you as powerful. And they're seeing you, Virgo, as somebody who doesn't fucking need them. So I think that's stressing them out. And I feel like I did a reading a few days ago where this is like, feels like it's that energy, okay? They know you don't need them. You've been completely immersed in self, okay? Self-care, I'm hearing as well. So your person is seeing that. They see you as very beautiful. They know you're attracted. They know people want you, okay? <laughs> Virgo, I like... All right. The nine of swords. Your person is in their fucking head. What did you do? I think that, again, Virgo, I think that this person did not expect you to be thriving like you thriving. 
Okay, it may feel some type of way about that. But I'm getting ill energy. Why are you mad about that? Shouldn't you be happy? Okay? Some of you guys, your person is born on the 14th or you. Mm-mm. All right? They're stressed about it. Not. I hope this is not a hating type of energy, but more I think they know that... Um, you might be out of their fucking reach now. That's that's what that's giving. Like, they just have to inch back at any little bit of you. Let's get more of this person's energy toward you, Virg. Okay, so I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, and usually the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest uh, Knight, but he's slow because he's stable. Look at all that he got on him, okay? Look at all that he got on. And I feel like there was something... Um, there's something about this person, Virg, all right, that you, that you like too, because I'm picking up, I'm picking... Okay. Virgo, there's some sort of stability that you thought that this person could give you, but you turned your back to it because you're just like, oh, hell, nah. you didn't, they didn't give it to you. You see it. It's like I'm seeing like a buffet. You could just went to a buffet or plan to go to one Virg. OK, um, I'm seeing 111. So this definitely resonated for somebody. <clears throat> but it's like all your favorite shit. Say you're just a vegan or you have food allergies or your favorite shit is sitting right in front of you in front of the buffet and you're salivating like you just can't wait to fucking eat. you're starving and it's like you see that in this person but it, it's never it, it was just never yours it was just never yours virgo some of you guys can have cats all right or just felt like you had really um bad luck but it's like your bad luck is turning into good luck now all right i don't know why i just got that message but Virgo, you put, you turn your back to it. Like, even though you did find this person that's very stable, I feel like you figured out how to be okay. And I think that took you a really long time, Virg. Yeah, with this Eight of Swords energy. Oh my God, that took you a long time. And your person, I feel like Virgo, you have your person questioning who they are. Look at this Eight of Swords. It's like she's presenting as someone different in the mirror than she is physically in real life and that's what i'm saying like you have this person questioning their very being their whole shit see Virgo, i feel like all right sometimes you your wit and your tongue and your mouth is crazy all right when you when you go off you go off so i feel like whatever you say like that shit is really sitting on this person so whatever them few things you said that ah, that dagger energy that you gave yeah they still might very much feeling it very much still hurt okay and i know we should never be making a goal to hurt anybody very but i understand like yeah, you were pissed off at this fucking person. Page of Wands. We got that in your last reading, Virg. Wow. Virgo, I feel like I'm just seeing like your person is throwing in the fucking towel. They are just all out of ideas, all out of thoughts. You've just turned into this new person that your per that people don't even recognize. Your person. Let me get more of you. What, what you got going on, Virg? Okay, give me, give me, give me Virgo's energy. Because Virgo, you sound lit. I want to hang out. You sound like you are primed to be attracting some good shit in your life. Okay. What's going on with the Virgo? I'm hearing like milkshake energy. Khalees. Like people just want you now. Your person could see that. Yeah. It might be at work, Virg. Like where you're, um, where you're getting new offers. You have options at work. Okay. You got people who like you at work and you're just like, <laughs> you're just like in your own element. And people are very much attracted to you. And you love it. Look at this, Virg. You got the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. You have men and women wanting you. Okay, I could tap into some of my same sex. Um, I heard marriage, okay, but also relationships. So shout out to you, Virg. Um, but you're single, okay? You're very much single. But it's like a lot of people, you have people, ooh, Virg. You have people in the palm of your hand right now. And your person can see it, they can smell it, they can feel it. And I think that's why your person's fucked up. <laughs> you literally have people in the palm of your fucking hand right now i feel like you're i'm tapping into some of my female virgos also my male virgos okay um your person if you're a male virgo your person is afraid that you could get someone else pregnant okay and if you're a female your person is afraid that you'll get pregnant by this whoever this new person is or why ever the fuck you feeling so goddamn fine and sexy Virgo. god damn look at all this phallic energy i'm seeing a lot of erections around you Virgo. All right, you're shocking some people with whatever it is you're doing, and you don't give a fuck. Very, you're so um, you're so very much in your own element and in your own energy, and people just want some. Look at this shit. You saw that? Sp Look how spirit is. Spirit does not play. Okay, you see how the magician just ran down on the the Queen of Wands, right? So, 
Again, Virgo, like you're, this is your season where you're getting everything you fucking want. I feel like with this five of cups energy, you sat, Virgo. You know what? You sat and and you let other people have their time, and you didn't hate. You let them have their time. Now it's your time, and you could feel that. Now your person is on. Now your true person is on your way to you, and you could feel that. So it's almost like Virgo. <clears throat> You're, um, ooh, Virg, yes. It's almost like you're in the high vibrational energy, Virg. Before this shit even manifests in the physical with the, with the magician energy here, and that's why it's coming, it's like you're already acting as if. You're already acting as if you were truly fulfilled in life because you are. The whole, the whole thing to the law of attraction or manifestation is to really feel like that, not to say, okay, I'm going to be happy because I know X, Y, Z is on its way. It's like I'm going to be happy because I'm living fucking life. I'm going to be happy because when I look in the mirror today, at least, shit, I finally I appreciate what I'm seeing. I love who's looking back at me. I feel beautiful. My body is sexy. All the women want me. All the men want me. Everything I want is fucking mine. There's nothing I'm lacking. Everything, everything for me is for the taking. I don't know about you, but I'm always getting what the fuck I want, period. Magician energy. She has a wand in her fucking hand. Voila. It's just magic. You, every every time I'm seeing you, Virg, you have some sort of magician tool. That's I, I saw one of your readings, Virg. You're like a seasoned magician. You could have been like a fucking, I don't know, a shaman, something crazy in a past life. If that's your speed, if you're into like Greek mythology or anything like that. But it's just like, man, your energy is crazy. And I understand why your person is stressed the fuck out. <laughs> oh, Virgo. And why I'm really crying, Virgo, is because like, you're like a silent assassin. Okay, I might have to name this that. Yeah. All right, you're like a silent assassin where it's like revenge is best served cold. You don't do too much. When all that hurt and shit you was doing, oh, come back and yeah, let's try and we can, ah, ah. Now it's like, oh, okay, you don't want to fuck with me. Oh, all right, all right. And then you go back in your little cave and then you get the thinking, you get in your feelings and you get your strength back and then you start mixing, making potions, concocting, making your own fucking future, bringing stability and then you turn off the queen of wands and people just, look how you got them. <laughs> Look how you got him, Virg. This isn't funny, but it's funny. And I'm laughing because I know that whatever this is, this the, uh, your person brought this shit upon themselves. Because you don't just be having people fucked up. Virgo, I'm crying right now. Because if you really see this spread, it's like you're in the middle. And you're just... Um, <laughs> You're just like manifesting and being happy, being you. And if you haven't gotten to this energy, I swear this energy is coming because it's so strong. But all around you, Virg, is nothing but like stress and sadness and fear that your person has. And you're just focused on yourself. You're giving, um, <laughs> you're giving like, uh, like self indulged. But I love it because Virgos, we're, we're not like that all the time. But we can be pretty vain, honestly, which people don't know about us. We're very big on like, how we look, our bodies, and our fucking money, period. Virgo, but it's like you're also fiery right now. Like you are very much, I don't know if you have fire in you, but even if you don't, Virg, you're showing you very much having that energy where. <laughs> ah, this is hilarious. Okay. Um, some of you guys are also meditating more, Virg. Okay. Why is this person so fucked up, spirit? Stupid ass. Alright. What's this nine of swords? Did I, did I just get another card? A uh, sword energy? <laughs> oh god. Alright. <clears throat> oh god. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody born in the 15th. Alright. It could be an air sign. <laughs> All right, Virgo, all this person wants is you to give them a sign that you still want them a little bit. Like, they are dying, Virgo. Like, just give them a little drop of water, you know, so they, their whole shit sprouts back into being because they're just gone. All right, they're just gone. All right, they have really let their, their mind run wild, okay? They sit for a very long time in that stagnant, sad energy. Virgo, and I feel like that just overtakes their mind, and they end up, like, hurting themselves. Like, you know when you cry, Virg, like... And it's not because you fell or anything. You're crying because you're hurting from the inside. <laughs> That's that kind of hurt. But remember, it truly is pain. Like the same uh, receptors, I believe, that go off when we scrape our knee are the same receptors that go off when we are in uh, emotional pain. 
So I, cause I'm seeing blood here, bro. It's like your person is it, like, I'm gonna stop laughing now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop laughing now because your person is really fucked up. This is not funny. <clears throat> I feel like it's something you know because I just saw the high priestess energy there. Okay. All right. But, like, this person can't even think straight, Berg, because the messages are coming out. Um, it's almost like, hey, I just asked this person what's wrong, and they just completely fell to the ground and just started screaming, crying, and, I, and they're babbling, but I can't understand it because you're so, they're so um, gone. All right, what's this Ada story? Why is Virgo's person this fucked up? <laughs> Virgo, because you're happy. I don't know how else to put it, all right? I really hope I'm laughing at a narcissist or somebody who used to be abusive or some shit, Virgo, because I feel bad. I'm really cracking the fuck up at this person. But Virgo, okay, they might fuck around and, and deserve it because it's like all this, you're, you're, you're fucked up like this because I'm I'm happy for the first time. That's what I'm saying. I'm picking up on happiness from me. And Virgo, didn't I say I was not fucking feeling this person? That's what I'm saying. I don't think I like this person. I don't think... You might have fucked around and fell in love with them because you were younger or you were naive at the time. But if you were to meet this person today, kick fucking rocks. Okay, you might give them a dollar, okay, and some fucking Kleenex wipes. But, Berg, you have the four of wands. So, this one telling me, like, celebratory energy. All right, you might even be fucking with somebody else, Berg, or be, you know, intimate with somebody else. <laughs> and then they're driving your person bananas. And what's killing them, Berg, is that they're seeing that a lot of people are seeing you sexually. I don't think that um, this person, I don't know if this person would compliment you a lot about how sexy you are, how gorgeous you are, how um, attractive you are. But it's like, now you know, you know, if you didn't know before, now you know, you know on your own, Berg, yeah. And it's like, you could be dealing with somebody at work, you know, some work, some work, so the situation can be changed, Berg. Something got your um, confidence up and it's stuck, Virgo. And if it hasn't, you're stepping into some... Beautiful energy soon, Virgo. And anything, any other bullshit is falling to the wayside. Like, your energy is so bright and vivacious and um and attractive. Like, you have, like, you're calling. Like, when I said the milkshake energy, you're calling all the boys or all the girls to the yard, literally. This is the only card here where we have multiple people, and it's, it's your energy. Um, Virgo, okay, some of you guys could have been having a lot of... <laughs> Uh, sex for some of you guys, all right? Some of you guys could be celibate, but that's about to change real fucking soon, okay? Because there's somebody you're feeling or somebody who's really feeling you that's not this person. You're fucking done, all right? Let me get a little bit more. Is somebody new coming in, bro? Uh, spirit? Oh, shit. Look at this three source energy. Yeah, this person broke your fucking heart. And you're work you working on rebuilding that shit piece by piece. And you done did it, bird. Sure did. Sure did. Virgo, and guess what, honey? Period. Knight of fucking cups, energy, yes. Romance, new shit. Somebody who is valuing you the way you want to be valued. All right, give me some more energy on what's coming in new. Okay, because this, this person, I'm about to take the, his fucking cards off this table in a minute. I don't even want to look at this person. Give me the new energy because this shit is a dub. Four of Pentacles. All right, so at the bottom of the deck is you, Virg, the hermit, okay? So you might still want be wanting to just enjoy yourself for this moment. Some of you guys are saving money. Some of you guys are holding on to your celibacy. You're like, no, 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 no sex yet. Um, um, but Virg, you, see, you, can, you can tell that you're holding back, all right? And it's from this person, I feel like, this old person or whatever this bullshit is. You'd much rather do battle by yourself. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting. Okay, um, but it's like you're gonna get another chance, Virg. Don't think that just because you're uh, let go of this person that you won't find love again. You sure will. This was a hard decision for you, Virg. I really feel like you let somebody go, or like you're energetically at least starting your breakup process on this person. Okay, so anybody new, Spirit, or are we just focusing on ourselves right now? Anybody new after this person? Anybody new? Oh, shit. <laughs> Your person. <laughs> Virgo, your old person could have been hitting you like, you know, trying to have sex with you, whatever. And you like, fuck no. And then, bing, you're going to hit his ass with the two of cards. That's what I'm saying, Virgo. you about to be in a relationship. For real. Okay. 
Let's see what we got at the bottom. Virgo. <laughs> Let me pull one more. Let me pull one more. Let me pull one more before I go into the extended. Because I need to see who this new person is and how your person is going to be feeling. Because this is crazy. Your person, your past person is going through some shit. It's like we all go through some shit. But pull yourself the fuck together. They just go, they just going through it. Yeah. All right, Virgo. Your person, this person could even be at a distance. But this person has been watching you for a minute. Virgo, who is this? Who's this new person that's coming in? Is it a Cancerian with chariot energy? Let me switch decks. Let me know I'm not bugging. Hold on. Ooh, what? Yeah. Chariot. Something's coming in, Virg. Let me split the deck. You're not your nine of cups. Not your nine of fucking cups. All right, Virg. We're going, we're going to take this and extend it, honey. All right. Thank you for watching, Virg.